Do you want me to, to start talking about the background and purpose of the call? I want you to start with what you want to learn today. Okay. Keep it simple. So, Keep it simple. All right. I want to know if this idea about writing a letter, basically an apology, is even a good idea. And if you think it's a reasonable thing to do, maybe you could help me think of what kinds of things I need to say in the in the letter. Okay. And uh, if you want, I'll start on the background, which goes way back to 1978. No. You have to hear. Not important. Your goal is to find out whether this is a waste of time or if it's going to make it stop hurting. Is that right? Okay, well, let's stick with that, okay? It's only a waste of time in your mind if you don't get what you want. If you get what you want, it was worth the risk. I agree. Okay, so what's the problem? He said, <laughs> let me tell you what to say in the letter. You look at the email you sent me and describe the problem to her. But first... You open with, I know it's weird to hear from me after all these years. I have problem letting go. I feel guilty. I wish I didn't feel guilty, but I do. I feel guilty because you feel in that blank. And what I'm hoping you can say or do for me is to say, oh, that's all right. Go on with your life. It doesn't mean anything. It's water under the bridge. That's what you want her to say. So tell her what you want her to say. Okay, and say, I'm sorry if I intruded in your life after all these years. I'm sorry. I really would appreciate it if you could respond by email. She doesn't have your phone, does she? No. Okay, don't give her your phone. So just say, I'd really appreciate you responding, positive or negative. And if you want to chew me out, that's perfectly okay. Give her, okay, well. give, give her permission and tell you the truth. Depending on the response, you do what you would do next. If she says, you fucking moron, you just fucked up my week. Die, you cocksucker. <laughs> you'll know, you'll know you did it wrong. <clears throat> but if she doesn't respond, that's also an answer. The answer is, who the fuck is this? Okay, I don't know you basically. And if she responds, you do whatever you think is the right thing to do. And I would say thank you, appreciate your feedback, no matter what she says. Don't say, don't say it fixed me up and don't say it ruined my life. Just say thank you for your feedback. So basically, whatever the reply is, if there's a reply, say thanks for the, thanks for the reply, you know. And that's it. I, I appreciate you taking the time to contact me. Right. And that's it. Now, what I'd really like you to do as a follow-up is you, you listen to the audio and you listen to what you remember and send me a draft of the letter by email. Okay, and I'll keep you from tramping in a pile of cow shit. <laughs> okay, so you want me to give you the draft after I write it and let you kind of yeah, I just, match it up? I'm not going to change it. And if it's fine, I'm going to leave it alone. But if you if you said okay. something bad or you're gonna hurt her feelings with that, or you're leaving yourself open to ABC, whatever the fuck, I will point that out to you. I'm not gonna tell you to change it, I'll just point it out to you and send it back. Okay. All right. Yeah, then I have a have a question about the letter. Uh -huh. I mean, this seems obvious to me, and I think you'll agree. I don't know who's gonna open this. There's always the possibility that someone in her home will accidentally or on purpose open the letter that's uh, written to her. So my plan was to, to to refer to the last time we saw each other as, you know, the last time we saw each other. Nothing about what happened because I don't want to create heartache for her in case somebody says, well, what, what was this meeting about even though it was so long ago? They yes. Demand to know. So there will be no details about that night other than the last time we saw each other. Does that sound like a good idea? 
uh, it's not going to make any difference. Whoever opens the mail is not supposed to open the mail and is going to start asking questions. I thought this was going to be email. No, because I don't even have the email. I don't think mailing this letter to her house is a good idea. Oh, okay. Uh, so. But don't send this to the house. I mean. Okay, you're saying don't do that, period. Right. Don't register it. Don't make it. It's it's just for your uh, selfish benefit that you are imposing on another person after all these years. And that's not what we do when we have honor and uh, consideration of other people's feelings in their lives. You're having a tough time. That's okay. It's because of what you did. And getting a blessing from her for possibly fucking up her life with this email or this letter is uh, very difficult to justify, I think. I mean, I sure the fuck wouldn't want to hear from anybody I knew 30 years ago. Absolutely not. That's me. Okay, that, those are my thoughts. But that doesn't mean you do what I say. That means you think about what I said and listen to your audio and decide what you want to do. And if you want to write her a letter or an email, send it to me and I'll correct it. I mean, I'll take out the parts where you're embarrassing yourself or hurting her feelings or whatever. All right. Uh, question. In order, in whatever I write to her, one of the things I was going to include, which I thought was critical, was to explain the circumstances that were going on that partly explained why I did not contact her again. Okay, you can see my life just went to shit about then. And you don't have to explain any further than that. And after it was over, I just forgot about it until now or whatever the fuck. But you don't explain yourself. Never explain yourself. Your self-esteem goes in a fucking bucket. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Well, let's wrap this up, and I can get on with my Thursday Zoom session. And you're welcome to join us anytime. It's on uh, same same URL on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. And you can just lurk. You don't have to say a fucking word. You can sit there and listen. I said, you can join the Zoom sessions anytime you want. It's the same URL I sent you for the Zoom call here. We do it every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I'll put it in an email. Okay. All right. And I hope I helped. Okay. I'll talk to you in the future sometime.